Right, it's in COVID cases in children and teens, but no mask mandate for North Carolina schools. Fox 46's Robin Kennedy pressed the governor today about why he's not requiring masks. Robin. Lindsay, the governor did not answer my questions except to say the state has given schools strong recommendations and that he hopes that school boards that have voted to make masks optional will change their minds and put in a requirement. It's not about you. It's about everybody in the community. COVID is not a joke. Heated moments at a Stanley County School Board meeting Tuesday. The school board voted to require masks for the upcoming school year. But not all districts have made that same decision despite a steep rise in COVID cases among kids and teens. The American Academy of Pediatrics says almost 72,000 new cases were added over the past week. That means kids and teens accounted for 19% of new cases. I am concerned that in schools that are not going to mandate masking that we will see much wider outbreaks of COVID and they may be forced to shut down by their local health departments if they have um, significant outbreaks. The Cabarrus County School Board voted to make masks optional. Wolf Meadow Elementary, a year-round school in that district, has four positive COVID cases and 38 people in the school in quarantine. CMS says according to state guidance, students don't have to quarantine if they were exposed to COVID at school and they've been fully masked. Governor Roy Cooper twice dodged my questions Wednesday about why he's not requiring masks in schools. We have strongly recommended that school boards require masking. But Governor, why are you not mandating it? I think everybody knows what to do. We've given the school systems the tools that they need to make these decisions in their local areas. We want to concentrate our efforts on vaccination, and that's what we're doing. And the governor says he is going to clarify whether there is a state requirement for schools to offer parents a virtual option, but he strongly recommends in-person learning this coming school year. Live in the newsroom, Robin Kennedy, Fox 46.